So I'm going to show you the real quick video. This will change how you use Lightburn forever as far as it goes. Far, as far as uh, sketching goes, you know how you use that little sketch trace thing. Uh, so this absolutely works perfect. So what you need to do is find you a picture you want to trace. And so I've pulled this one up. Of course, if you go up here to the tools, the interactive thing where it says tools, the bigger the picture, the better. But I'm going to use this picture of this uh, machine gunner. And I'm going to hit copy image. And I'm going to come here to Lightburn. I'm going to paste it. And this is the image I want to turn into a vector or to be able to raster it or engrave it. And, you know, I, you can engrave it as a picture. And, of course, you don't want to use somebody else's photos, whatever. But this is just for an example. And so I want to trace this. So if I hit trace right now, you know, you're fighting this battle of trying to get everything to line up perfectly and all this. It doesn't work. But the way I show you will work. You right mouse click on this image and you go ahead and hit adjust image. And while it's in grayscale right here, what you want to do is usually I usually click this one to about right there. Then I start enhancing it and you'll see it gets brighter and the image starts looking clearer. And you can manipulate this however you want, however much detail you want. So I usually take the gamma down a little bit. And if there's like a bright sky or a dark sky, I manipulate the contrast a little bit. But we're going to go with that right there. I'm going to hit OK. Now, if I hit trace again, it still comes out like crap. But what you do is this. You right mouse click and you save process bitmap. And I'll save it to my desktop. And I'm going to name it SOD. And that's it. All I have to do now is click on this picture and delete it. Come to File, Import. Come down to the picture I just saved right here. And it's going to import it in. It's always best to bring things down to a smaller size because it processes it faster. Right mouse click. Now watch what happens when I hit Trace Image. It picks everything up. You don't even need to adjust anything. Just hit OK. Now what you do is you pull the original image away, and it's almost hard to tell what's original and what's not. This is your traced image now. I want you to look at that detail. You, I could have got even more detail if I wanted, but the beauty about this is now I can right mouse click it, and I can hit ungroup. And then I come in here and pull things out of the picture that I don't want. Let's say I don't want this straight edge right here. So I right mouse click and pull along to, to the rock here. And I just hit delete and it deletes all those nodes right there. And I can delete these and hit delete. And some of you, whenever you come in here, see, I can just pull that piece of rock away. And you again, you can manipulate this however you want. And some of you will come in here and you'll, you'll start working on a project. And you'll wonder why mine's showing up like that without having to hit uh, this view icon. So this is what it looks like to preview. If you go up here to your tools or to window, what is it? Window or tools? Yeah. Right here to window and come down to feel smooth. It shows what it looks like in the actual uh, light burn. So there you go. That's how you do it. And then it's ready to go. You can now just uh, print it to your laser and it will print out just perfectly. And you can do that with any picture, any picture. Hope that helped you out.